better than before. Thank you so much. Still no sign of Flane. What should we do, Teach? I'll admit, I'm out of schemes here. Professor! Claude! Something's very wrong! Please, hurry to Professor Yuritsa's room! Yuritsa? Ah, the combat professor with the mask. He has always been rather suspicious. We must hurry. Knock, knock! Is anybody... Whoa! Professor Manuela! I heard a scream coming from here just moments ago. It must have been Professor Monuela. She's unconscious. She was clearly attacked by someone. Hey, it kind of looks like Professor Monuela is pointing at something. So we follow where she's pointing and... Oh, what do we have here? There's a rather suspicious hole behind that shelf. What is the meaning of... Wait, is that Manuela? What happened here? We must take her to the infirmary immediately. You, don't just stand there. Help me carry her. Right, right. Pull down the fort for me, Teach. I'll be back once we get Professor Manuela taken care of. What could have happened here? And where is Professor Yuritsa? This must be related to that girl's disappearance. What if she's being held captive down there? Well, no, no, that, I mean, that's crazy, right? Right. It's scary, but... Okay. Don't be a coward, Ignatz. We'll be fine, as long as we stick close to the professor. Huh. You're right. What should we do? We've got to investigate. Lead the way, professor. The culprit could be hiding inside, so let's be extra cautious. Oh, it's way too creepy down here. And it smells funny. And... Ah! A person! They're unconscious. Yes! It's Flane! Oh, but there's someone else, too. Someone is coming. That scythe. Could it be the night we fought at the Holy Mausoleum? That sword. You must be. One of us will die. The other will live. I will enjoy this dance of damnation. Professor, we need to defeat the Death Knight and then rescue Flame. Hmm, look at that strange tile over there. I bet something will happen if you step on it. I got this. Stay focused. That is that. I stand ready. An offensive sight. A trivial victory. Me? Who, me? Ah! 
ready anytime. Leave it to me. Let's get to it. Ugh. Battle. Put me in there. on the floor. So, should I have held back? Nicely done. chance to grow. Thank you. 
Give it your all. I'll keep it simple. I'll celebrate later. Can't get caught. Just like that.
You can't compete with me. I'm now I... Mindful. to play soon. Your work here is done. Understood. I will go. We will cross paths again. I am the Flame Emperor. It is I who will reforge the world. Flame Emperor, eh? Seemed quite frightened of us, if you ask me. <laughs> He's gone. We should get these two out of here. Let's get out of this horrible place. Come on, we can carry them up. actually found Flane? Nice work. It is a shame you could not be there, Claude. I would have liked for you to witness our mortal struggle against the Death Knight. Hey, at least we managed to rescue Flane and complete our mission. That's what counts, right? Right. Excellent work, everyone. Now then, let's get these limp ladies to the infirmary, shall we? No problem. I can carry them both at once. Be gentle with it, Raphael. Let us carry each one individually, and slowly. You know, Teach, seeing you smile sure makes me feel better. You look happy for a change. Hmm? Do you really not know? Well, truth is, I've never seen you smile before now. At times, it made me wonder whether you were even human. 
but I suppose that was just my imagination running wild. Anyhow, we've probably kept Sedith waiting about as long as he can stand. Let's hurry up and tell him the great news. Professor, please allow me to express my eternal gratitude once more. Flane is safe and sound, and I have you to thank for that. Mere words could never express how thankful I am. I... I am indebted to you. Yes, of course. I shall express my gratitude to the students as well. Her kidnapper was the masked knight who vanished during the rite of rebirth. The one known as the Death Knight. Considering the circumstances, it seems plausible to assume that his true identity is Yuritsa. And we cannot forget about the mysterious Flame Emperor. His true motives are yet unclear. However, I have an idea. I believe the enemy may have been after Flane's blood. The blood that flows through her veins is special. It is extremely rare, and extremely dangerous. If enemies who know the secrets of Flane's blood have appeared, our only option is to leave the monastery and go into hiding. Brother, wait. Flane, what are you doing here? You should be resting. I do not like the path of your thoughts. I do not wish to live in some lonely, remote location where I never get to see anyone. Not ever again. If we stay here, you may be targeted again. Wouldn't it be better for the two of us to live in peace? Even if we ran off to some new, secret location, there is no guarantee that they would not find us. That is why I believe it would be safest to stay in the monastery, where we are surrounded by capable knights and professors. I see your point. I do. However... You know it is the only reasonable option. What if I were to join the professor's class? You think so too? I am so very pleased to hear that. With a professor like you nearby, I shall be safe no matter what foe should appear. I see. I am afraid you have a good point. Professor, due to my position, I have closely scrutinized everything about you. After all that has happened, I must admit that you are indeed a trusted ally. So what say you? Can I entrust you with Flame's safety? I am so glad that Flame is safe, yet I can't help but wonder what the story is about that other girl. She wore the uniform of the Academy, but who is she? Well done, Professor. I see that I was right to ask your class for assistance. I have been told that Manuela and Flane are recovering nicely, as is Monica. Monica, the girl you rescued along with Flane, is also a student of the Officer's Academy. However... She is a student from last year's class. She went missing just before she would have graduated. It never occurred to us that something might have happened to her at the monastery. We assumed she had run away. I never dreamed that we would find her. Not like this. Monica has asked to rejoin the Black Eagle House once she has fully recovered. Our enemies are still out there, so we must remain cautious and continue our investigation. However, we must also help the students to move on from this incident. After all, the Battle of the Eagle and Lion will be held in Grander Field next month. Yes, the students will remember it for the rest of their lives. Please guide them so that they may show us their best at the coming battle. So, you'll be going to Grander Field next month. You've never been there before, have you? There is unease in the western side of the Empire, but everything east of the capital, Enbar, is stable. Well, there was a noble rebellion a short while ago, but it didn't amount to much. 
I have my own mission. The church has always been quick to make use of those who work for them. What I'm more concerned about is finding out who among us is pulling the strings. Ever since the Rite of Rebirth, strange groups have been seen around Garrig Mach and elsewhere too. There was also an incident where some knights investigating these suspicious strangers turned up dead. Not that it's likely, but if something like that ever happens to me, search this room, every corner, behind every shelf, I'm going to leave something for you. Don't get me wrong, I have no intention of dying. I know it would be too much to ask you to cheer up, but can you at least drop the serious... <laughs> well, I'll be. Was that a smile just now? Part 1 White Clouds Wyvern Moon Field of the Eagle and Lion From on high, flocks of wyverns roar in chorus and soar the pristine skies, heading south for the winter. Fodlan's children lend their hands to winter preparations by gathering firewood and catching fish from the river's cool waters. Yet all the while, their gazes are turned skyward, drawn to the magnificent sight above. It has been a while since we last spoke, Professor. Spare me a moment again, will you not? You recall how you helped me and allowed me to join your class, yes? I have learned a great many things since then. Indeed, I have truly grown so much. This personal growth is due in large part to you. And I wish to express my gratitude, sincerely. still naive? I will have you know that I have made many friends and am constantly learning new things. Why, when I go to the market, alone, I even haggle. You must be familiar with the delicate art of haggling, in which one negotiates a lower asking price for an item. That is the type of knowledge common only to those as mature as myself. Who? Me? Um, have you not asked this once before? It is a bit rude to ask repeatedly, you know. Is that so? Well, it seems we have something in common, since I do not know your age either. Come now, there is nothing to be gained from focusing so heavily on age. Touching on a previous discussion, I think I have learned more about you. I mentioned how you possess an air of mystery. I compared you to any old sea, but I have come to realize you are more like a particular sea, one I have seen before. When I was quite small, my mother would take me out to play in the sea. She was an excellent fisher, my mother. I grew to love fish deeply because of her. Well, you see, fish are... Oh, er, wait. I was talking about the sea, was I not? Anyhow, I sense that, like the sea, your depths are seemingly impenetrable. Yet, despite your unknowable depths, there is something familiar about you. 
It's as if we have met somewhere, long, long ago. No, I do not think so. It is all quite strange, really. I wonder if we might be distant relatives. <laughs> no, that cannot be it either. After all, if we were related, that would mean... Hmm. Though considering all that Rhea has done, it is not entirely outside the realm of possibility. Hmm? Oh, apologies. Just muttering to myself. It is nothing. Mutterings aside, I mean to say that you do not feel like a stranger to me. For whatever reason, I feel deeply connected to you. And for this, I am glad. <laughs> It's finally time. The Battle of the Eagle and Lion at Grander Field is this month. Don't tell me you forgot, Teach. You're kidding. Come on, Teach. I need you to keep it together for me. Don't lose focus when it counts. The Battle of the Eagle and Lion is one of the Academy's annual traditions. It's a huge mock battle between the three rival houses. But you know all about rivalry battles, Professor. There was one right after you got here, remember? I hear the Battle of the Eagle and Lion will be held in Grander Field, far away from Garrig Mach. The house that defeats the most opponents wins. It's a three-way battle that relies heavily on strategy. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? Hey, Claude, what about Professor Manuela? Do you think she'll be able to join us despite her injuries? I'm afraid she's sitting this one out, as is Professor Hanneman. As my persistent rival will not be present, it only goes to follow that I must also sit out this year's battle. Now leave me be, Claude. Oh, don't worry about us. You know you want to see the kids in action. If it isn't our own Professor Manuela, all things considered, you're looking well. Thanks to all of you. But I'd only be a burden out there. My students don't need to see me collapsed. Well, not on the battlefield, anyway. Does that mean you really won't be joining us for the battle? Correct. We will not be participating. Regardless, do not expect victory to come easily, or at all. Well put. We've spent the past few months pushing our students to their limits. You can see me in the infirmary after they destroy you. We have taught our students well. There is no need to hold back. Challenge them with everything you have. <laughs> this monastery is more dangerous than I expected. It's likely that our foes have infiltrated the ranks of the teachers. And there may be others of questionable character about as well. If you ask me, there is something amiss about that old man, Tomas. Professor! Professor, do you have a second? It's about Monica. Does she seem... off to you? She was in prison for a long while, but she seems to have recovered almost instantly, and she's been bizarrely cheerful.
You see what I mean? I wonder if she's straining to seem happy just to make people comfortable. Hmm, and why is she so close to Edelgard anyway? <laughs> what do you say, Edel? Shall we meet up in the library later to... Oh, hello, Professor! Do you need something? I'm a little busy at the moment. Sorry, Professor. I've got a lot of questions to ask Adel here. Since I couldn't graduate last year, I really want to make sure I can do so this year. Along with Flane, we found another female student who went missing last year. But now the combat Professor Yuritsa has vanished. His origin begged many questions, so there were plenty of objections to his appointment here. He is apparently from House Rim of the Empire, but he was adopted from another family, or so they say. Anyway, there hasn't been much good to be said about House Rim in recent decades. The Battle of the Eagle and Lion is a free-for-all contest among the three classes. If you are victorious, the Archbishop will no doubt present you with a reward. <laughs> Just what I thought you'd say. Having a fishing tournament before the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. At first I couldn't figure out what they were thinking. But the fish are especially tasty this time of year, so I don't question it anymore. Have you had any, Professor? You'd better eat up before it's all gone. Okay. all the way to the Empire for a mock battle? This is serious business, and there's a reward to be had as well. I'd really like to win this thing. Everyone else seems to be raring to go too. We're all looking to you to guide us, Teach. Well, excuse me, Professor. Um, do you think it would reflect poorly on me? If I chose not to take part in the Battle of the Eagle and Lion? Oh, I see. I'm not very confident, but I'll try my best. What? I have a favor to ask. I have a favor to ask. Monica, was it? 
I'm glad they were returned safe and sound. So it is. in the Empire, right? I wonder how we'll get there. I thought I heard that there's no path that goes straight from the Monastery to the Empire. Oh, perhaps we'll travel through Alliance territory. Yes, I see. From the east, we would go... Mm, there. Ah, yes, that must be it. <laughs> Fishing? Oh, no thanks. I tried it once, and ugh, gross. I don't even really like to eat fish, let alone catch and gut them. Besides, who can think about fishing right now? The battle of the eagle and lion is coming up soon. Feeling confident? That's the spirit! in the territory of House Burgley's in the Empire. That's right next to my home, the region of House Varley. Oh, no. What if... What if my parents come to watch? Ah! Really? Are you sure? You wouldn't say that if you weren't completely sure, right? go all the way to Grander Field. It's idiocy to travel that far. It may be a tradition, but it takes forever to get there and is exhausting. So pointless. I guess there's nothing to be done about it. Even by you, Professor. Let's see. Fodlin is big. It's not as big as Almira is, but it's still pretty big. Travel? I don't know. Never thought about it, I guess. Professor, as Seteth told you, we're to have a fishing tournament. Given the events of the last month, I believe this is just the sort of distraction we need. Staff and student alike. I'm afraid I'm not one for such festivities. I do enjoy a spot of fishing, though. I believe it best that I stick to quietly fishing by myself. <laughs> you know, I'm pretty good at fishing. My older brother used to take me out. Why don't you give it a try, too? They say we can eat whatever we catch. <laughs> Sometimes it's nice to dangle a fishing line and let your mind wander. I'd love to spend some time lounging around by a scenic river or a lake. Holding such a frivolous and downright ridiculous event so close to the Battle of the Eagle and Lion? It's absolutely absurd. Although, they did say we could eat whatever we catch. I'm a sucker for a good meal. I just couldn't resist. Buzzer. Welcome to the Monastery Fishing Tournament. You look confused. Didn't Seth tell you about it? Just catch whatever fish Flame requests. 
Show any fish you catch to flame. I have a favor to ask. I still have. Welcome to you looking just show and <laughs> Oh, you're entering too. Then how about a little friendly competition? Let's see who can catch the biggest fish. There's no way I'll lose. So you are joining the fishing tour? I just caught. Yes, I am happy that we will both have. I'm going to catch me some mighty fish. Mm. But they haven't been biting. What shouting? Everyone told me. I'm going to. I appreciate. Will you be taking part two, Professor? Uh, I must admit, I am quite excited. I cannot recall the type of fish I was hoping to dine on. So, if you do manage to catch a fish, do you mind bringing it for me to see? thought about entering? Maybe you and I could have a little friendly competition. I just caught this fish here. Why don't you... Do you have time for a request? Pardon me. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Young Monica disappeared last year. I thought she had simply run along home. But it turns out she was kidnapped. I can't believe it. How awful it must have been for the poor thing. They say her personality has completely changed. But at least she seems more cheerful than before. Grateful to be alive, perhaps? Indeed, I received a rare letter from my father recently. He said that he is praying for the Golden Deer House to emerge victorious. Insistently praying. My father attended the Officer's Academy and won a glorious victory in the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. I think he is quite proud of that, even to this day. I suppose that shows how great an honor it truly is. You know, the Empire used to control all of Fodlan. But after the Civil War, the Northern region split off and became the Kingdom. Later, the eastern part of the kingdom seceded to become the Alliance. There are three powers today, but a thousand years ago, we were all united as one. Even now, among the nobles of the Empire, there are some who dream of reunifying Fodlan. Concerned, but I promise that I'm fine. I was just thinking the Death Knight's true identity. Could it actually be Professor Yuritsa? My savior, thank you.
you. Of course. The situation last month was dire indeed. The students endured great hardship. I hope you were able to put all of that behind you, so that you may focus on this month's assignment. A most reassuring response. I trust that your class is in good hands. I look forward to seeing your skills on display at the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. Are you taking part in the whoever can catch? Thank you. I appreciate your effort. Are you taking part as well? If you catch it, hi there. Oh. Catch the same. tournament now are they just giving up on the battle of the eagle and lion you're not condoning this right are you what if you've got all this free time shouldn't you be spending it on your students That stubborn goat. Holding a fishing tournament now? Just last month, he looked like death warmed over. Professor! I'm just absolutely exhausted. I swear to you, Professor, every month we're worked harder than the month before. I had imagined the Academy as a chance to possibly relax before our lives began in earnest. After graduating, we'll enter into noble society, which means contending with all the intrigues and dramas that entails. I want to just postpone life for a bit. Fish, nap under a tree, skip out on lectures and... Well, not your lectures, of course, Professor. Feel that first refreshing breeze upon your face. You know it is almost time for the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. Grander Field is within the Empire, but the path there from the monastery necessitates passing through Alliance territory. Fodlan's biggest river, the Aramid River, flows along the border between the Empire and the Alliance. You will have to cross one of the largest bridges upon that river, the Great Bridge of Murden. The Death Knight's true identity. Personally, I don't think it could be Yuritsa. He taught me swordsmanship. He said I had talent and the potential to get pretty strong. He was a little scary, of course. But it's hard for me to believe he's a bad person. <laughs> a fishing tournament, huh? 
Sounds fun, but not as fun as reeling in the ladies. <laughs> Just kidding, of course. The most important thing right now is preparing for the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. After all, the ladies love nothing more than a winner. And around here, there's no bigger game. Everyone has their own reason to fight. At least I'm honest about mine. Flane and Monica, was it? I'm glad they were returned safe and sound. Did you want something? After the Battle of the Eagle and Lion, a prize is awarded to the winner by the Archbishop herself. It's a three-way battle, so you can't waste too much time just observing. You have to jump right in there. You have to be proactive and defeat the most opponents. Do that, and it's quite possible the Archbishop will recognize how strong you are. Ah, great memories. I was a student here many years ago. I know what I speak of. What? Hi. Oh, hi, Professor. Have you heard the rumor about the Goddess Tower? Well, there's an annual ball here the month after next, during the ethereal moon. They say if a boy and a girl wish for something together at the Goddess Tower on that night, the Goddess herself will grant it. I don't know where the rumor started, but it's a great story, isn't it? Since we were little, Ingrid's always gotten this odd look in her eye when someone brings up food. Really? I have something to ask of you. I have not even told you what my request is yet. Well, fine. Flane has been through an awful lot this past month. To make up for that, I have decided to give her whatever she wants. I asked her what she would like, and she expressed a desire for a feast of fish. Since I am sure the students would be interested, I have decided to hold a fishing tournament here at the monastery. I have left all of the specifics to Shamir. Please, enter and put in your best effort. I still have... Well... Yes. How are preparations for the Battle of the Eagle and Lion going? Hmm? Fishing? <laughs> Taking it easy, are you? The recent happenings at the monastery. There is something going on behind the scenes here. I've been commissioned to investigate as well. As I've already mentioned, this month I'm off to the kingdom. You be on your guard, okay? <laughs> uh, perhaps I've gotten in your head too much. I won't go dying on you. I've stayed alive this long after all. I always thought I was pretty good, you know? Then I'd go and get stabbed. Oh. But my opponent was the Death Knight, so I figure I did pretty well to only get stabbed. I wonder if it's true that he is actually Yuritsa. Whoever he is, I'm going to make him pay. It turns out that when I get stabbed, I get really mad. I'm not going to let him get the better of me again. Greetings. I 
don't know if you've heard, but Flane is very special. Her blood carries a rare crest. Oh, the lengths to which she could advance my research, if only I were able to study her. If only it weren't for Seteth's strict orders. He protects his sister with unusual zeal. Have you ever tried convincing Seteth of anything? I'm not sure I could convince that man the sky is blue, if he hadn't already looked up for himself. Professor, 